the goat path. That's yeah, hurry. Oh, they're gone. Well, excuse me, but I, I just had to see you alone. Why? I just want to tell you. That... What? Well, not to fall in love with me. I mean, even sexually, no matter what I say or do. I'm not trustworthy. For instance, I'm not a doctor. I never thought you were. Oh, but that's not all. There's, there's not even a fleet out there. I'm on that old bucket, the worst ship in the Navy, and I'm the worst officer on it. They all think I'm a jerk. And I am. Well, ask the crew, or my father, or my brothers. Ask anybody. Why did you pretend you were a doctor? I don't know. Because that's what I want to be, I guess. And because I wanted somebody in this lousy world to think I was important. What's wrong with that? Huh? Well, isn't it important to want to be important? Look at, um, Alexander the Great. He conquered half the world just to show off to his father. But he still conquered it. Oh, you mean after everything I told you, you think I could be a doctor? By rights, you should be a good one. You have more people to prove yourself to than anyone I ever heard of. You should cash in on that. My family's in business. They say the big trick is to turn liabilities into assets. Oh, you dare be nice to me. Well, I tricked you into getting behind these bushes. I lied to you. You're not lying now. Well, no, that's just an accident. I just, I just got started telling the truth, and I can't stop. Now, don't listen to me. Oh, don't let me make a pass at you either. Why not? Because you, you'd see through my snow job in a second. How do you know? Because I was going to lay it right on the line. I was going to give you a hot look. A blast right in the eyes. Like this. I was going to say, honey, you know what a man's for, don't you? Huh? I was going to say sexy, brutal things like that. And then I was going to say, uh, what's your name again? Uh, Scotty. I was going to say, Scotty. You're the most beautiful girl I've seen in six months. Mm, am I? Well, more than that, you're the only girl I've seen in six months. Then what were you going to do? I can't remember. Why did you let me get away with that? Because I like you. You just like me for my liabilities. Huh? some of that, Bruno. No, I ain't going back to sleep. Well, all right. Stay awake and stop beefing. I see that dream. What's that noise? Well, that's nothing, Bruno. That's just a storm. Hey, why don't you break out all the seasick medicine? We're going to have a busy night below. Take it easy, Bruno. Come on, get in there. Atta boy. Watch your head. Atta boy. Take it easy. Here's another. The hurricane's expected in this area by 2100. We better stay put tonight. Don't tell me what to do. The Admiral wants us at Apathy Island in five days and we're gonna be there, Hurricane or not. 
Yes, sir. Did Bruno take that sedative? Bruno's not in sick bay, Doc. Didn't you release him? No. Say that man's in a bad state. You better get him back here. Hello, Fane. Hello, Doc. Hello, Frank. Doc, I'm not the same jerk I was last night. I'm the new Pulver. What would happen if I went below right now and apologized to the whole crew? They'd throw up. Are they that sore at me? No, they're seasick. But I've got to show them I'm different. I'm not ashamed of being a jerk anymore. I'm using it. That's how I'm going to prod myself into being a doctor. With my liabilities. Where the devil is pain? Thanks for listening, Doc. Two days ago, you saved the life of this ship. Then last night, you cocked out. There's a Chinese proverb about that. It says if you want to save a man's life, you're responsible for it as long as he lives. Even if he commits murder, it's your fault, too. Yeah? Yes. So while you're reforming... Doc, he's not in the cruise quarters. What? Look, go get down here and tell him to form a detail to search this ship. That man could do anything in the state he's in. Who? Maybe I'd better go with you. But I didn't tell you about Scotty! I hope our planes are right in this storm. We're not making any headway at all, Captain. You just stick to that course and stop beaving. I'm going to my cabin. I don't want to be disturbed once till revelry tomorrow morning, except in emergency. What do you think you're doing? Bruno, put that gun down. We'll forget all about it. You've got my word. Just put it there on the desk. Bruno, for God's sake, it ain't my fault your kid died. Bruno! Captain, it's not loaded. What? It's not loaded. Why is it?
Where are we? Well, up the creek, Captain, without a paddle. How much water we got? Oh, enough for about a month, I guess. I ain't figuring on being out here no month. Not with some young punk that think you saved my life. Thanks! Captain, I not only saved your life, now I'm responsible for it. Nobody asked you to jump over that ship. Stuck out in the middle of the Pacific with a rock around my neck, and I put it there. Don't worry, mister. The Navy's probably got planes and boats out searching for us right now. I could just see that ship. Men running all over the deck. Telescopes. Signal flags. <laughs> Is there anything in the storm? Nothing important. Uh, how's Bruno? I was with him all night. He can't remember a thing since 5 o'clock yesterday. I got pain watching him. Where are you going? To lock horns with the cabin again about getting Bruno a leave. He gave orders not to be disturbed. Hey, hey, watch it, Doc. You blow a fuse. My pleasure. Captain! Captain, are you awake? Holy. His bunk hasn't been slept in. He wasn't on the bridge all night. Could he be below? We just covered the ship. Which brings us to the only happy solution of the problem. What's that, Doc? He fell overboard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a sense of humor. <laughs> Can't understand the Navy leaving the captain of an important vessel sitting out here all this time. Sure wouldn't have happened in the Merchant Marine. Uh, how often did you fall overboard in the Merchant Marine? I didn't fall! That maniac Bruno tried to kill me. When I get back, he'll hang for this. Look, a medical handbook and a log. I'm gonna put down everything that happens. Like an experiment. I don't need rabbits or guinea pigs, I got us. Guinea pigs? Sure, for the medical profession. For posterity. For the Reader's Digest. Boy, will my brothers take a back seat. I was wrong about the Navy. Here comes our plane now. Sit down, Captain. They can't see us. Look, cows! Sit down. There we are! They can't see us! But... An officer in the United States Navy. He couldn't fall overboard. Well, he sure ain't on this ship. Hey, maybe he was on the raft that blew over last night. It's listed on the storm damages. Missing three fire buckets, one life raft, one boat hook. One captain. Somebody must have seen him. Did you check with all the officers? All except Mr. Pulver. Yeah, we're giving him a silent treatment. Come on, Billings, let's get on that radio. You notify the Navy, I'll notify Frank. Who's gonna notify the sharks? Frank! Frank! Frank. Have you told the Navy the captain's missing? Yes, why? Because I got a P.S. for you. <laughs> It is now the fourth day since the captain began to look truly disgusting. Sweat, um, perspiration, has temporarily stopped. Could this be due to the malfunction of one of the glands? Perhaps the, uh, uh sweat gland? Uh. Uh. As for the splotches that broke out on his forehead when he ate that... Ugly looking fish I caught. Um, uh, they're still very pronounced. But more of a purplish color. Possibly due to uh, dead blood. Sometimes he seems delirious. Example while talking in his sleep, he said, Kiss me, Aunt Martha, in a small, guttural voice. He also made the same request of his cousin Tilly. Now, these are obviously the ravings of a very disturbed and dirty mind. Stop writing in that book. 